Welcome to Pull Addiction, where I like to do pull and billiards equipment reviews as well as anything pull and billiards related for that matter. And welcome to the part two review of the Tsunami Shaft. In this review, I'll be going over all the in-depth testing I normally do, and I highly recommend checking out my part one review where I go through all the specs and all my initial thoughts on the shaft. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, I'll place a link somewhere up here and a link in the description below. Now in that part one video, I also went over the background of RGHQs who are the maker of the Tsunami Shaft, so I won't be going over any of that really either. So the testing that we're gonna be doing today in this review to, uh, video is gonna be a slow motion deflection test, a slow motion rail deflection test, a pivot test, side spin test, a vibration test in slow motion, as well as balance points testing, and draw and force follow examples with audio clips. And at the very end, I'll give my final thoughts on this shaft. So now we got a lot of stuff to go over in this video, so let's just get into this.
All right, before we get into talking about the results, I wanna let everyone know that there, the results can vary based on a number of different conditions like the condition of the felt, the table itself, the cleanliness of the balls, and even the temperature and relative humidity of the room can have an effect on these uh, tests. So you kind of get the picture. And lastly, everyone's human, including myself, and not every hit will be exactly perfect every time. What I'm trying to say here is, if other people do some tests, they can and will vary a little from mine. Now with that out of the way, let's dig into this. The one result that everyone wants to know is the deflection and pivot tests. And the results are pretty good for the Tsunami Shaft. Having a soft hit average of 0.15 inches, a medium hit average of 0.175 inches, and a hard hit average of 0.5 inches. And the pivot test, where the further back your bridge hand is, indicates how low deflection a shaft may be, the Tsunami came in at 16 and a half inches. These results place the, ranks the Tsunami amongst all the other shafts I tested so far at first for a soft hit, second for the medium hit, third for the firm hit, and fourth in the pivot test. Now this is based on all the shafts I've tested so far as of February 2022. The shafts I'm talking about here are the HXT Skinny, the Predator Revo 12.4, the QTEX Synergy 15K 12.5, the BQ Prime M12, and the Go Custom 11.8 millimeter tip size. Now that I've done a test on all these shafts, I might need to do a video going over all the data and where each one ranks, but that's a video for another day. The other tests I did in this video uh, give you an idea of the other characteristics of this shaft that aren't really a measurable ranking because it has mostly to do with personal preference for everybody. Now I got a lot of comments in the part one video telling me I needed to put the sound of the hit, and I always plan to do that and give you audio of the hit so you can hear it for yourself, but I also like to keep my videos entertaining, which is why I like to use the music. In the part two video, uh, I always plan to put the audio of the hit, and I think maybe in the future for you guys, I will start putting some audio hits in the part one videos as well. Now, what did you guys think about the sound? I, I think it sounded great, but leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. With all that said, what are my final thoughts on this shaft? Well, I still love this shaft and it is my primary shaft and has been for a while now. I told you about my thoughts on the How Medium Tip in the part one video, and my opinion is still pretty much the same. You can go see that video if you haven't already, I'll put links in the description below. But my summary of that is it hits good, I don't have any problems with that, but it does mushroom on me a fair amount and I plan to change it soon, I just don't know what tip I wanna try yet. There is some other things to consider with this shaft. It is a wood shaft, and it's still susceptible to dings and wear and tear of a wood shaft. However, I will say it's definitely more resilient than a regular shaft due to its torification process. And carbon fiber is gonna be more durable. I've had this for a good bit of time now, and I'll say the hit and feel, in my opinion, is superior. The action is a little less than some of the carbon fiber shafts out there on the market, but it does hold its own against them if you put a little bit more effort into the shots that require that action. And it will easily perform as well as most of those carbon fiber shafts that require a little less effort. Kind of hope that made sense. Personally though, I like this because it helps me out with my finesse shots because I rather shoot normally instead of trying to take even more off my shot with a carbon fiber shaft. The price on this shaft starts at $389 and it pretty much you can get whatever customization you want on it if you go through RGHQs. You can also get them through Pool Dog if you just want a standard one. I'll put links in the description below and they are non-affiliated links. So what did y'all think about the billiard light? Uh, you know, let me know in the comments section and I'm interested to hear what you think about it. And if you haven't seen the installation video, I'll also put a link in the description below so you can check that one out as well. I did sure notice the difference when I started editing and I really like it. One more thing, I'm also working on another video of a Q review as I'm speaking and I'm hoping to have that out in the next week or two, so stay tuned for that. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you don't, haven't done so already and select the notification bell so you can be informed when the next video comes out. Thank you all for your support and I'll see you all in the next one.